Hi guys, um, since it's the end of the new year, I've decided to share with you guys my favorite moments from 2015. There were definitely a lot. This year was probably the best year of my life considering I graduated and I went off to college. So I've decided to share with you guys a memory or like a big moment that happened every single month of this year. So yeah, let's get so, to it. So starting off with January to start off, the year of 2015, um, nothing much really happened because it was the start of the year and was the start of the new semester in high school. But the big thing that happened in the month of January was that I got my wisdom teeth pulled out. That was not as bad as I thought it would be. Everyone was like, oh, it's gonna hurt really bad and you're gonna be out for a long time. And I was like, okay, then whatever. So I actually ended up, so I got my surgery and I actually wanted to go back the same day I got my surgery because I have a really high pain tolerance, so nothing really hurt. And yeah, I went back to school the next day and people were like, oh, you're already back? I was like, yeah, I'm perfectly fine. The only thing that sucked about it was that a Could big be. one from the month of February was our Las Vegas Classic Tournament. And that tournament is like a showcase, so it's where a bunch of different college coaches come. And the tournament wasn't the whole like big part. It was the fact that, okay, so we were sitting in chairs and there was like chair right here, chair here, chair here, chair here. So I was sitting right here, my dad was sitting right here. And then like, I'm chair right here. And then right there was Russ Rose, the Penn State coach. Um, who was it? John Dunning, the Stanford coach, and the UCLA coach, and the Washington coach all in a row. Like, it was amazing. In the volleyball world, they're like the famous people. Everyone knows them. If you don't know them, then you obviously don't know play, don't know volleyball at all. And I was just like, oh my God. Like, I was starstruck because you don't see that every day. So March was a very eventful month. I actually have two memories that um, are from that month. The first one was the powder puff game. Okay, so I actually did get to play and it was a lot of fun. I got to do it with all my friends, like all the health academy girls went out and played and it was just a blast. And the second moment was every 15 minutes. That's where people like that are well known and make a difference in the school are taken out and they die from like a car accident from like drunk driving mostly or just from accidents in general that happen in teenagers so I got to be part of it and I was taken out of a class and um, it was just really sad and it showed you that like anything could happen whether you're the one driving and you haven't had a drink and someone on the freeway just drives into you because they've been drinking or you got in a car with someone that had been drinking and you made that mistake and guess what, like you're at fault for it. So it was definitely eye-opening. It was one of the saddest, saddest days we've had at our high school, but it was definitely something that everyone took into account. And then there was the month of April. Um, That was probably one of the biggest months I had. That was because I finally decided to to, like I finally decided what college I wanted to go to um so one day I was down on the east coast touring colleges over spring break and I went to University of the Sciences that's where I go to now and I got a tour of it and a tour guide made it seem like it wasn't the best place to go after we left there I was like I'm not going here like she made it awful but I still have to go because I had to practice with the team later on that day because I contacted the coach and he said I could practice with them. So I practiced with them and they made it a hundred times better. They made me feel so welcome and I was like, okay, like I can see myself going to the school, playing with this team, having the support that I can with all these girls. They'll help me out. And so that's when I realized like this is where I belong. This is the school I want to go to. Next up is May, my birthday month. Um, there were quite a few memories here too. Okay, so the first memory was senior ball. It was probably one of the most stressful and best nights of my life. Stressful because like of all the plan, but fun because like everybody let loose, everybody just like 
had fun. They didn't really care about life. They just did what they wanted. Everyone looked so beautiful that night. Like, And of course, the big one from that month was graduation. I graduated high school on May 29th, my brother's birthday actually, and I was so happy. Like, you were done with high school, done with those four years of your life that you thought would never end. Um, it was very exciting, but also very sad. We actually cried at the end. Um, but it was nice, like, what? Everyone was off to college and everyone going their separate ways. And way. then there was June. Um, that month was actually very eventful too. I have two memories from that month. The first memory was orientation for college. Orientation was in the summer and it was only for two days, but there were like three sessions. So you got to pick which session you want to go to. I went to the first one and I went with two of the volleyball girls, so I knew people. But um, that that orientation really showed me like who I wanted to be and what I wanted to do with my like in college. We met a lot of new people. We made a lot of new friends that we knew we were gonna have when we came back to the school. The second memory from that month was going to junior nationals, and that was because it was in New Orleans. Like, it was so amazing. First of all, though, it was hot. But that's okay. And we actually did really well. I was very surprised. We didn't go with our whole team. But that's okay because the girls we went with made it incredible. We ate a lot. We went on, uh, what did we go on? An al a swamp tour. And I got to hold a baby alligator. We went on a ghost tour. That was just all right. Um, but we just like spent time with each other. In the month of July, my favorite memory was going to Santa Cruz with my friends Danielle, Mackenzie, and Caitlin. We had such a great time. It was very relaxing. We were just there for the weekend. There's actually supposed to be a lot more of us. We were supposed to go camping, but we ended up just going with the, with the four of us, and we stayed overnight at a hotel. We went to the beach, we relaxed, we did some shopping, and we just had some great times with each other. Had a lot of laughs, staying really badly in the car, as you can tell if you wanted to watch it in one of my vlogs. And yeah, we just got a lot. August, that was probably the best month out of the whole entire year. That's because I finally moved into my dorm and went off to college. I left pretty early because of volleyball, so I got to meet all of my teammates. We got very close in the first week because we went there really early, and then a week later, we moved into our dorms, and I love it. I loved every moment of it. I was sad at the beginning because I was like, oh my gosh, I have to leave my friends, my family, but then after they left and I finally got settled in, I just realized like, this is where my home is now and it will be for the next six years and I'm absolutely September, not. September, September. Probably the highlight of our first semester because we had the Catalina wine mixer. It was like our volleyball formal and it was during Pope weekend because everybody left because the Pope was there and we didn't have any games and we're like, okay, we're gonna have our volleyball formal then. So we all dressed up and we all had dates and it was probably the best night any of us have ever had. It was huge, and we all had a great time with each other. Um, okay, so for October, my favorite memory was when my parents got to visit. They came down October 31st, actually, so the last day of October, and they came down for senior day. So they actually watched me play a game. It was probably my best game that I've had all season. Um, and yeah, they got to watch that, and then we went to go around and eat, and I got to show them around. It was just nice having them, because I haven't seen them in a few months. So for them, to, for them being there, like, it was awesome. Like, I miss their support, and I miss them so much. And we just had a great time together, like, got some, some quality time with them. Okay, for November, my favorite part was going home for Thanksgiving break, because I haven't been home in what? probably three months so it was nice to be back and to see people I wanted to see and just like catch up and see how everyone was and I got to see some cousins and just eat a lot and sleep in my own bed that was so nice um but yeah it made me realize how much 
I miss being home and miss being here and my family and everything. Last but not least is December. There was finals, holidays, going back home. But the thing that I remember the most is going to be um, our trip to Point Reyes this past weekend. We went with cousins and some family friends and it was great just to go somewhere different. It was a beach, it was so relaxing and beautiful and we spent the whole day there just being with each other and we went down to the lighthouse. There was a lot of stairs, but that's okay because every part of it was So good. that's it for 2015. It was probably the best year, so best year of my life from the ups to the downs to everything in between. I met so many great people that I know will stay in my life for a very long time and I've also let go of many people that um, I realized I don't really need in my life. So that was really nice. But the best thing about 2015 was that I found myself. I found who I am and who I want to be and I love it. If you told me this a year ago, I would have been like, no, like that's not who I am at all. But then now, like, being that person, I'm like, yeah, this is who I was supposed to be. And I love it. It's amazing. But that was it for 2015 in a nutshell. Um, there are probably a lot of things that are going to happen in 2016, and I cannot wait.